Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to set your Google Chrome web browser to English or convert the language of the browser over to English. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up our Google Chrome web browser here. And you want to navigate over to the top right corner for the three vertical dots are. Left click on that. And now the third option from the bottom should be settings. You want to left click on the, again the third option from the bottom here. And if you selected the correct button, your screen should resemble something that looks like this. Now, no matter what language it's in, you want to scroll all the way down and select the button at the bottom right next to the little drop down arrow. This will load more options if you click on it. Scroll down to get to languages and there should be a little language button and the language of which your browser is currently set to will be listed right underneath. Now, if you can't find it, just a quick little shortcut, it would be right above the download section, and the download section is going to have the path of the downloads folder, so that should hopefully be a clue as to where the language box is. So once you've located the language section, you want to select the first option, or the first button, I should say, and then you want to left click on where it says add languages. As you can see on my screen, it's a blue button, so left click on the blue button here, type in the language you want to add, and then check mark the box next to it on the left and then left click on add. Once you've done that, now you want to go right across from that language you just added and select the little three dotted icon. So left click on the three dotted icon and then check mark and set the box to display Google Chrome in the language. It's the first button on this list. Once you've done that, you have to relaunch your web browser. So just left click on relaunch or you can close out and relaunch it on your own and you should be good to go. So I do hope I was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.